Good evening. Hello, good evening. How do you feel today? Ready? Good evening, teacher. Buenas noches, teacher. Hello, hello. Welcome. Everything fine? Okay, I'm, I'm ready to start. Welcome back. It is a pleasure to see you again. Can you hear me? Yes? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Yes, teacher. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back again. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Let me see your names. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. There, okay. Ana Lilian. Present. Bautista. Present teacher. All concerned. Yes. Carlos Antonio. Present. Welcome. Claudia Raquel. Present. Welcome. Francisca Elizabeth. Francis. Present, Present teacher. Welcome. Thank you. I didn't see you yesterday. I I was. Es que no sé cómo decir, salí tarde de trabajar. Ah, okay. Sí. Okay. José Galileo. Galileo. No. No se ha presentado Galileo ni una vez. I don't know why. Jonathan. Present, Mister. Welcome. Thank you. José Rodrigo. Rodrigo. José Rodrigo Hernández. If you are trying to speak, I can hear you. I can hear you. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Juan, Juan Carlos Rivas. 
present teacher. Welcome. Thanks. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Welcome. Lorena Beatriz. Lorena. Ella no se ha presentado en ninguna sesión. Si alguien la conoce, le avisa. María Concepción. Present. Welcome. María Elena. Present, teacher. Mayra Veralice. Mayra. I don't see Mayra. It's not here. It's not here. Miguel Ángel Mendoza. No. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Welcome. Uh, Santos Misael. Good evening, present teacher. Welcome, sir. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Welcome. Thank Jenny, you. Jenny Suleyma. Jenny. Jenny. Ha tenido you... problemas de internet, teacher. Ayer estuve hablando con ella. Sí, pero aparece conectada. Sí, es que como que le falla el internet. Ok, esperemos que se reporte. Que diga present. Yesenia Lisset. Lisset. Present teacher. Diego Ernesto. Present teacher. Welcome. Javier. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, before to start, I'm going to show you some letter and you are going to tell me a word that is start with the letter that I'm going to show you. But you need to raise your hand. Okay. For example, if I show you this car, Suddenly somebody is going to raise your hand and he's going to say a word that start with this letter. For example, could be house. Diego, tell me. Hello. Hello, okay. Heart. Hospital. Heart, teacher. Ah, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. The next person, if Diego said hello, the next person, it, it is going to start another word with the last letter of, of the word that Diego said. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, Diego said hello. Okay, somebody else? Want to continue?
Open. Open. Okay. Somebody else? Noise. Noise. Okay. Hurry up. Hurry up. Elephant. Elephant. Okay. Somebody else? Tomato. Tomato. Okay. Somebody else? Giraffe. What is the last letter of tomato? Oh. E. E. The last letter of tomato. English. 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 Are you sure? Yes. Elephant. Okay, I'm going to show you another letter. Please. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm going to switch. I'm going to show you another. Let me see. Okay, what about this? M teacher. Mother. Okay, mother. What about the next? Russia. I need that all of you participate. Somebody else? Rose. Continue. The panther. Okay, what about now if we make a combination? Let me see how I'm gonna show you. That has to make sense. For example, if I show you this. Two words. Mother. But what about this, this one? My house. My house, okay, another? My husband. Ah, okay, nice. What else? My horse. Okay. What else? Ah. Okie dokie, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Remember that I need that all of you participate. So please, please try to do it. I, what I need is that you think about it, what I'm showing you. Okay. Let me see what we have here. And let us talk about this. Can you see it? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. In order to start our topic today, I got some question. The first one is, what is a swap analysis? Do you know what is that? Think about it. Do you know what the step of analysis each of the letter in swap represent? And have you ever conducted a swap analysis? Try to think about it. Uh, I SWOT is what? Yes, oh, okay. in Spanish. Okay. <laughs> and also in Europe, they, they don't call it FODA. They call it DAFO. Oh. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. what, what is your career, Claudia? Um, industrial engineer. Uh -huh. Okay. I ask you this question because 
I, I've been studying a master in marketing. And there we can find uh, those kind of stairs. But you are related with okay. Okay, but in English, uh, what is the meaning of each word? Do you remember somebody you remember? For S is a strength. Okay, for, for S is? A strength. A strength, okay. Talking about power. What about W? Weakness. Ah, okay, I like that. And what about the letter O? Opportunity. Opportunities. And the letter T? Street. Street. That is meaning in Spanish? Debilidades. Amenas. So? O amenas. Amenas. Ah, okay. 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 I like that. I know that you have uh, your uh, knowledge focus in this topic. Do you know what a step of the analysis each of the letter in swap represent? Okay, you already told. Have you ever conducted a swap analysis in your company? Yes or not? Just tell me. No. Never? Not teacher. Okay. What is the question, teacher? Maybe all depend on the position that you are representing in your company. The question is, hold on a second, let me hear again. The question is, have you ever conducted a swap analysis in your company? No, teacher. No, never? Never. Okay. Somebody? No teacher. No? In my case, no teacher. Uh, no directly. But but is analysis analysis um Come on. No, in my company is not oh I can't say this. How not? How not? How no? Ah, no, no sé cómo decir. Pero la cosa es, es que es más um, como que si estuviera implícito o como antes de hacer la compañía hicieron eso. Ah, okay. Okay. Well, in my case, in the places that I work, uh, we, we used to do it every year. We talk about all those features. And based on that, uh, we decide to do something else because every year is different from another. And it's really important and, and it help us a lot in order to improve with our student, not only in high school, but also in university level too. Really, really important. Okay, based on this, and let me show you something here in order that you have a, a better idea. Because I need that you keep in mind what is the meaning of this four words. Okay, here you have um, a clear idea of what is the meaning of these four words. S is strange, W witnesses, opportunities and treats. In letter S, somebody wants to read? Strange. Only one, please. The strength. Tell 
talking about talking about uh, the, the, the concept that we have here and talking a strength, for example, in your company does well, qualities that separate you from your competitor, internal resources, which as skill, knowledgeable staff, tangible assets, such, such as intellectual property, capital, property, technologies, etc. When we talk about weaknesses, we talk about things your company lacks. Since your competitor do better than you, reserve limitations on time and clear unique selling proposition. And when we talk about opportunities and the certain market for a specific product, few competitor in your area, emerging need for your product or services, and so on. And talking about the last one, emerging competitor, changing in regulatory environment, negative press, media coverage, changing customer attitude toward your company. That is the meaning of these four words. You can make a screenshot if you want. In fact, today I was trying to send you the, the previous uh, PPT, but I had some problem in my in the play where I were because the power went off because they were repairing something. And for that reason, it was difficult for me to send it. But I promise you that I'm gonna do it. I hope to do it at the end of this class. And maybe I'm going to send you posts then in order that you can have it because I already told you. Okay. Right here, we have uh, some concept. What is SWOT analysis? It's a technique that enables a group of individuals to move from everyday problem and traditional strategy to a fresh perspective. SWOT so analysis, look at your strength and weaknesses and the opportunities and treat your business face. It's really important that you keep in mind because we are going to start with this conversation. It is based on a speech master is planning to open a new branch. Mr. Rivas, the general manager is meeting with a team to run a swap analysis on the new project. Before I start reading this conversation, I invite you to read it and I need that you identify all those words that you consider difficult to pronounce. Uh, I don't know if you can understand exactly what I'm saying. I'm going to tell you in Spanish a little bit. Para los que tal vez no comprendieron qué es lo que dije, hoy vamos a hacer diferente. Les voy a dar un tiempo para que lean la conversación y identifiquen todas aquellas palabras que consideran difíciles de pronunciar y eh, las tengan ahí como marcadas. Preocupémonos ahorita por la pronunciación. El significado es más fácil porque usted lo puede hacer solo, pero la pronunciación no. Ok, I invite you to read it and I'm going to give you like Two minutes in order that you can read it, okay? No me vayan a decir que es muy poco el tiempo porque necesito que, que desarrollemos la habilidad de lectura, okay? Start now, please try to read it by yourself. Bien poquito tiempo, teacher. Ni estuvo ayer, no, no, no. no. Okay, read it, read it, read it.
Did you finish? Not yet. No yet. Okay. Teacher, puede, puede hacerlo un poquito más para arriba, por favor. Mm. Un poquito. O hasta ahí, llega, hasta ahí llega donde dice company. Yes, but okay. let, me, okay. let, me, let me do something. I'm going to stop sharing. Do you mind if I do it? No? Okay. I'm going to show you from the book. Let me see where I have the book. I don't see the book here. In, in the book, there is in the 14 page. Okay, yes, yes. I need to show you. I got it here. I got it here. I'm going to show you in the book, okay? Here we go. Advantageous. 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 We have over one complete tour. Okay, you got the same. Microphone. Can you see it very well? Yes? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay, I'm going to start reading. Did you finish? No? Elizabeth Martinez, tell me. What's up? Hi, teacher. <laughs> did, did you finish or not? Yes, finish. Ah, okay. Okay, so please pay attention. I'm going to read it. Mr. Rivas, well, let's get started. After conducting a swap analysis, we will know whether to go on or stop with this project. Right. Let's describe the strengths. That means the advantages we have over our competitors. We offer flexible schedule to adopt to our customer busy agendas. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skills in the first class. That's correct, Mario. After discussing our strengths, let's continue with our weaknesses. What are weaknesses about? Weaknesses are areas in which the corporation are competitively disadvantages. In our case, a weakness might be the lack of parking space for our customers. You are right again, Mario. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and treat of danger upside that could affect the company. Okay. Are you following me or not? Sure, only one word. How do you pronounce? After opportunity um, three in the last paragraph. Opportunities and mm -hmm. threats. M? Threats. It's, it's not exactly a letter E. Threat. Threat. I'm gonna show you how you how, how to pronounce it. Hold on, Thank I'm gonna you. I'm gonna write it down there. But hold on, hold on. I'm going to stop sharing in order that you can you can look in your material because it's really important that you uh, get familiar with all
Hold on, hold on. Can you see it there? Yes. 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 Okay. You have it there? Okay, I'm going to read it again. Let me show you again. Because I need that you read it too. I don't see my book here. What is it? I got it. Okay, I'm going to read it again. Well, let's get started. After conducting a SWOT analysis, we will know whether to go on or stop with this project. Right. Let's describe the strengths that mean the advantages we have over our competitor. We offer flexible schedule to adopt to our customer busy agendas. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skills in the first class. That's correct, Mario. After con conducing our strength, let's continue with our weaknesses. What are witnesses about? Witnesses are areas in which the corporation are competitively disadvantaged. In our case, a witness may be the lack of parking space for our customer. You are right again, Mario. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threat or danger upside that could affect the company. Van a dar para mí, ¿cierto? Sí, sí. Yes, ah, yes. okay. Podría repetir la pronunciación de, de la palabra. Se la voy a leer como la veo. Ok. Eh, disadvantage. Ah, disadvantage. 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 Yo also can say en Dawe. Disadvantages. 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 Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Y ahora se los leo ya de corrido como ustedes lo van a leer. Okay. Yeah, in the way that you are going to be talking. Okay, well, let's get started. After conducting a SWOT analysis, we will know whether to go on or stop with this project. Right, let's describe the strengths. That means the advantage we have over our competitor. We offer a flexible schedule to adapt to our customer busy agendas. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skills in the first class. That's correct, Mario. After discussing our strengths, Let's continue with our witnesses. What are the witnesses about? Witnesses are areas in which the corporation are competitively disadvantaged. In our case, a witness might be the lack of parking space for our customer. You are right again, Mario. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threat of danger upside 
that could affect the compound. Okay, let's continue talking about this. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, now question. Let me know your doubts. Hello, are you there? Yes, teacher. No question, teacher. Yes. No question? Okay, I like that. I like to hear that. What about the rest of the class? Okay. No question. No question? Teacher, uh, who is weak method? Tell me. Weak method. Uh, witnesses. 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 Debilidades. Mm. Okay, let us see how you are. I need to volunteer who wants to read it right now and later on we are going to practice. Only two. Only two. No more than two. Meals. <laughs> okay, Claudia and me. It's me. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, okay. I'm sorry to ask you that question because when I'm presenting uh, something, it's difficult for me to see who is speaking. Cuando estoy presentando algo, eh, se me hace difícil ver quién te dice mí. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Let us do it now, please. Okay, Mr. Rivas or Mary? It's up to you, you decide. Okay, Mr. Rivas. Mr. Okay, um, well, let's get started. After conducting a SWOT analysis, we will know whether to go on or, on or stop with this project. Right, let's describe the strengths that means the advantage we have over our competitors. Ah, y Jose. <laughs> ah, Jose. <We> are... <laughs> it's missing somebody else. Okay. Somebody else, somebody else. We, we, offer... Oh. we offer flexible schedules to adapt to our customers' busy agendas. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking speak skills since the first class. That's correct, Mario. After discussing our strength, let's continue with our weaknesses. What are weaknesses about? Weaknesses are areas in which the company Corporations are completely disadvantaged in our case. A weakness might be the lack of parking, parking space for our customers. You're right again, Mario. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threats or danger outside that could affect the company. Okay, good job. I like that. Okay, we are in the right way. Congratulations. Only this word. How do you say this word, uh, Claudia? Could you read it, please? The underlined word. A schedule. Okay. Scheduled. No. Listen, repeat again, Claudia. A schedule. Okay. Diego? A schedules. A schedule, okay, a schedule, schedule. Don't put a letter E at the beginning, only just S, schedule, schedule. Okay, let us see another trio. Volunteer, please. Me, Saira, teacher. Okay, Saira, somebody else. Me, Lilian. 
Elena, and we need somebody from uh, the play the role of Jose. Me, teacher. Okay. okay, do it, sir. Here we go. And then we are going to practice in the breakout room. Well, let's get started. After conducting a SOT analysis, we will know whether to do on or stop with this project. Right. Let's describe the strength that means the advantage we have over our competitors. We offer flexible schedules to adapt to our customers' busy agendas. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skills since the first class. That's correct, Mario. After discussing our strength, let's continue with our weaknesses. What are weaknesses about? Weaknesses are areas in which the corporation are competitively disadvantaged. In our case, a uh, weakness may be a leak, leak of parking space for our customers. You're right. Okay, Mario, before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threat or danger of side that could after the company. The company. Thank you. Okay, thank you. What about this word? How do you say this word? Advantages. 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 Okay, I'm going to read the last one and then you are going to practice if you don't have a, any question. Remember, right now is the chance, the opportunity to ask. I'm going to read it. Well, let's get Mr. started. Okay, I'm sorry. Ana Beatriz. You want to say no, something? I read this. <laughs> ah, you want to read it? Yes. yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Later on, you are going to have the chance to do it in, in trios in a breakout room. But if you want to read it now, go ahead. Okay. Ana Beatriz, and I need two more. Necesito dos más. Mi teacher Eli. Ellie yeah. and Amen. Me teacher. Me okay. teacher. Okay, do it. All right. Well, let's get a start. After conducting a soul analysis, we will know whether to go on the or stop with this project. Right. Let's describe the strengths and the means, the advantages we have over our company competitors. We offer flexible schedule to adapt to our customers' busy agendas. This day we allow them to practice their public speaking still science in the first class. That's correct, Mario. After discussing our strength, let's continue with all the winkings. What are weaknesses about? Beneficiaries are, are areas in which the corporation and competitively disadvantage in our case, uh, witness may be the lack of parking space for our customers. You're right, I've done it, Mario. Therefore, you making a decision with a still need to go over the opportunities and risks or dangers of signs the could offer the company. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I'm going to read it. Later on, you are going to practice in the breakout room. So please pay attention about, so well, let's get started. Listen, started. After conducting a swap analysis, we will know whether to go on or stop with this project. 
Right. Let's describe the strengths. That means the advantages we have over our competitor. We offer flexible schedule to adopt to our customer busy agendas. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skills since the first class. That's correct, Mario. After discussing our strengths, let's continue with our witnesses. What are witnesses about? Witnesses are areas in which the corporation are competitively disadvantaged. In our case, a witness may be the lack of parking space for our customers. You are right again, Mario. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threats of danger upside that could affect the company. If you don't have any questions, we are going to the breakout room. But if you have questions, just let me know. Tell me. Question? Hello, can you hear me? Yes? Yes. Oh. Yes, teacher. No question. Yes. No question. No. No question, okay. Let's go to the breakout room then. Let me see. One group is going to be integrated by four, I guess, because, oh, well, we are, we are right. Trios, you are in trios, please. Here we go. Um, I'm going to give you like, let me see how many minutes I can give you. Three minutes, I guess it is enough. It is enough for you? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Okay, four minutes. I'm going to give you four minutes. Así le voy a ir reduciendo mejor. Ayer fueron cinco y van a ser cuatro. Tomorrow is going to be three. And the rest. Teacher, pero como yo no estudié ayer, siempre de los cinco. After school. <laughs> Quien no estuvo perdió. A usted debería darle tres. Yo lo leo en tres, teacher. Ah. <laughs> I'm just kidding, okay. Okay, here we go. Carlos, Carlos, José Rodrigo, Wendy, somebody's waiting. Wendy, Wendy Maribel,
I've been checking the the WhatsApp group. And somebody said in the chart. We group teacher. Excuse me? We group uh, practice. And you are ready? Yes. Okay. Okay. Let us do it, Carlos. Uh, Lilian. Bautista, Bautista. Hello. And... Okay, do it. Lilian and Mayra. Hello. Lilian, Mayra. Lilian is Mr. Rivas. I am Mario and... Good you, you are Mr. Rivas, I am Mario and another... And Mayra is Jose. Okay. Let's start, uh, Lilian. Permita, perdí el modo. No, ¿Quién soy yo? Perdido. Perdido. Esa le gusta. Ay, ay, ay. Espérenme, que no lo supero todavía. We are less get a start. After conduct, conducting, uh, so analyze, analysis, we, we will know whether to go on or stop with this project. Right. Let's describe the strength. That means the advantage we have over our own competitor. We offer flexible schedules to adapt to our customer busy agendas. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skills since the first class. That's correct, Mario. After the putting our strength, let's continue with our, our weaknesses. What, what are weaknesses about? Weaknesses are areas in which the corporation are competitive. Disadvantage in our case, a weakness might be the lack of parking space for our customers. You're right, I'm going, Mario, before my marking. A uh, decision we still need, need to go over the opportunities and and deal or they can also say that pull after the company. Okay, thank you. The last part, the last part, uh, you have to say in this way, you are right again, Mario, before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threat of danger upside that could affect the company. Teacher, okay, thank I, you. I, I have a question in, in the pronunciation and the two words, uh, Mario, in the last uh, intervention. Weaknesses are areas in which the corporation are competitive. Uh, how do you say this word? Weaknesses are areas in which the corporations are competitively disadvantaged. Okay. Competitively. Okay. Competitively. Competitively. Okay, thank you. Okay, later on you are going to publish the pronunciation of that word because right now in that way it is uh, un understandable. Okay, somebody else, please. Oh. 
volunteers, volunteer, please. Hello, hello, where are you? Wendy and Saira. Okay, hold on, hold on a second. Hold on a second, please. Espérenme un segundo. Share. Let, let us check out the, the, the attendance right now. Voy a chequear la asistencia otra vez. Hold on, hold on. Wendy is waiting. Don't move. Stay where you are, please. Ana Beatriz. Present. Okay. Uh, Ana Lilian. Present. Bautista. Present, teacher. Carlos Antonio. Present. Ahora estaba callado Carlos Antonio. I don't know what happened. Uh, Claudia Raquel. Claudia. Present. Eh, Francis. Present teacher. No, 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 no. Galileo, yes, Galileo. I don't see Galileo. Galileo, where are you? That I can see you. How is it? Como el cuarto día va a aparecer. <laughs> ah, okay. Jose, Only one know. day. Only one day. No, no, I, I teacher. I didn't make it. Okay. Jonathan? Present. Okay, okay, okay. Eh, Jose Rodrigo? Present. Eh, Juan Carlos? Present. Uh, Laura? Present, teacher. Hola. Lorena Beatriz? Lorena. Lorena Beatriz is not here. Maria Concepcion. Present. Eh, Maria Elena. Present teacher. Okay. Mayra. Present teacher. Ahora ya, ahora ya no le dije el otro nombre. Ah, no, pero este me gusta, Ticha. Uh -huh. Ah, ese le gusta. Sí. sí. Vamos a correr el oh, primer okay. programa. <risa> Mayra. Sí, yo Mayra. Okay. Miguel Ángel. Hola, mundo. Hola, universo 7. Jonathan, Jonathan. Le damos al play acá arriba en la parte superior. What's going on here? Okay. Okay, let us continue. Um, Miguel Angel? No? Saira Marleni? Present teacher. Uh, Santos Misael? Present teacher. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Eh, Jenny. Jenny. Jenny Suleyma Santos is not here. I don't see Jenny here. Jenny, 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 Jenny. I don't see it. Okay. Yesenia. Present teacher. Diego Ernesto. Present teacher. Brian Javier. Present teacher. Okay, I'm going to tell you this in Spanish. Recuerden que eh, su asistencia es contabilizada de acuerdo a los minutos que ustedes permanecen en la plataforma. Sé que hay algunos problemas de conexión en algunos lados. 
y quizás voy a pensar así de que alguno ha tenido problemas. No quiero pensar de que solo entran y luego después de cinco minutos abandonan la, la plataforma. Ok. Pensemos en que el servicio de internet es el malo. Ok. Ok, let us continue with the conversation. Wendy, Maribel, are you there, Wendy? Yes. Ok, continue. Yes, with your, with your group. Why? No. Okay, well, sorry. Well, no. Maribel? Yes. 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 Ok. Well, let's get started. After conducting a soul analysis, we will know whether to go on or start with these projects. Right, let's describe the strength that meet the advantages we have over our competitors. We offer flexible schedules to adapt to our customers' busy agenda. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skills in the fifth class. That's correct, Mario. After discussing our strength, let's continue with all the weaknesses. What are weaknesses about? Weaknesses are areas in which the corporation are competitive disadvantages in our case a uh, weakness by the lock the parking space for our customer you're right i'm dying mario before in making a decision we still need to go over the opportunities and feathers on dangerous outside that could affect the company Okay, thank you. Somebody else? The last team? Me, chair. With okay. Carl, I don't remember, teacher. Isabel and Laura. <laughs> no, Laura and the other muchacho, no recuerdo. Misael. I'm sorry, Misael. Well, Let's get a start. After conducting a soft analysis, we will know whether to go on, on or restore with this project. Right. Right, let, oh, okay. Usted me sabe. Okay, you go. No, dale. Okay, so, um, right. Let's describe the strength, that means the advantage we have over our competitors. We are offer flexible schedule to adapt to our customer busy agents. Besides, we allow them to practice their public <laughs> skills since the first class. That's correct, Mario. After discussing our strange, let's continue with our witness. Are witness? Mm -hmm. Witness. Uh, sorry. Um, witnesses are areas in which the corporation are competed to the disadvantage. In our case, a witness might be the lack of parking space for our customers. You're right again, Mario. Before making a decision. We still need to go over the opportunities and threats or dangers of seal that could affect the company. Okay, thank you. Let us continue. I don't know if somebody else wants to do it. I would like to hear about, let's see. I'm going to shoot the one that they have the camera off. A lo que tienen las cámaras apagadas. 
a Juan Carlos. Ah, ok, Juan Carlos. En José Rodrigo, en... Let me see, somebody else. In Tim, Mayra, eh, Brian, and Mary, María ah, Concepción. Ah, ok, ok, Rodrigo. Do you want to do it, Rodrigo? Yes. Ok, sir, go ahead. Ok. Well, let's get started after conducting a short analysis. We will know whether to go or stop with this project. Who's next? Maria, Mary. Maria, yeah, Maria. Are you there, Maria? Yes, teacher. Sorry. Okay, please wake up, wake up. It's okay. Right, let's just write this friend that means the, the advantages we have over our competitors. We offer a flexible schedule to adapt up to our customers' basic agendas. Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skills since the first class. That's correct, Mario. After discussing our strengths, let's continue with our weakness. What are weaknesses about? Weaknesses are areas in which the corporation are competitively disadvantaged in our case or when it might be the lack of parking space for our customer. To run again, Mario. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunity and treat our dangerous side that could affect the company. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, I invite you to, to read a lot. Uh, when you have a, a free uh, time in your job, you can read it. You, you can, uh, and that way you are going to improve reading, you know? Because it's really, really important. I don't know what is happening now that most of you have your cameras off. No sé por qué se apagaron las cámaras. Hello, are you there? Yes. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Yes, teacher. Remember, remember, remember that you need to have your cameras on. Okay, let us continue then. Okay, we already talked about these uh, four words, but we are going to work in pairs. Write the correct word before its definition. We have a strange witnesses, opportunities, and threats. And we have some concepts. I'm going to give you the opportunity to work in pairs. And you are going to do it. I'm going to give you like four minutes to do it, okay? Try to help each other. Resolvemos esa actividad entonces en parejas. Tratemos de ayudarnos para hacerlo lo más rápido posible, okay? Are you ready? Yes? Yes. Yes, teacher. Here we go.
Okay, welcome back. Let us resolve it. Yes. Okay, number one, who wants to read it? Including the, the word that is missing, and you are going to read the whole sentence. Who wants to do it? It's strange. It's strange, teacher. Yeah, but I need that you read all the, the whole sentence. Necesito que lean toda la oración. Okay. Me, teacher. Okay, strange. Provide an analysis of the company's advantage over its competitor. Okay, number two. Witness. Witness. Consider it. Witnesses. Consider it areas in which the companies are at the competitive disadvantage. Next one. Me teacher. Okay. Opportunities. Opportunities, okay. Are a list of unexploited market or business de development. Okay. And the last one, please. Me teacher. Serious. For Amaba. Read, okay, read, read the whole sentence, please. Okay. Trees, trees explore the external environment that could affect the company, including technological, environmental, and regulatory factors. Okay. A teacher. Teacher. Oh, tell me. Eh, no sé. Creo no, que me confundí. En las últimas dos, yo las tengo diferentes. Oh. Okay. Uh, number one. Number one is strange. Okay. Number two, witnesses. Yeah. Number three, what do you have? Number three, tengo. Uh, there are trees. There. The trees. Number two? N number three? Number three, there are. Y number two, opportunity. No, number three. Mm. Are at least. Mm. Are at least an exploited market or business development? Opportunities and threats explore the external environment that could affect the company, including technological, environmental, and regulatory factors. Okay. okay. Strange witnesses, opportunities, and threats. Okay, that's correct. Yes. Okay, now what I need is that you take a look again to the conversation. We need to take a look again to the conversation. And I need that you tell me something. You need to pay uh, special attention to the word in bold. Necesito que le ponga atención a las palabras que están en negrita o en negrilla. And tell me, why do we have all those expressions involved? Por qué las tenemos así? Tell me. After the steps. Excuse me. The steps. Ah, could the steps be. for analyze uh, both SWOT, okay. SWOT analysis. Yeah, could be, could be the steps. Okay, what else? 
What else? Tell me. We have some word like after, before. What is that? The order? Mm, yes, could be. Could be, could be. But how do we call it to, to the whole expression involved after conducting a swap analysis? Adverb close. Ah, bingo, sir. Adverb close. Okay. I like that. I like to hear that. Then also we can talk about adverbial phrase. But let us see what is an adverb. Who wants to tell me what is an adverb? Try to remember. What is an adverb? <clears throat> What is an adverb? I, I want to hear the concept. An adverb might be the word that uh, describes actions or verbs. Mm, describe or modify? Mm, I would say modify maybe for, for verbs. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Hello? Somebody else, somebody else, before we go, we need to know exactly. Okay, an adverb is a word or phrase that modify or qualify an objective, a pair or other adverb or a word group expression. A relation of place, time, circumstance, manner, cause, degrees, etc., etc., etc. Do you remember that? Yes. Now, yes. No, yes. Now, yes. Ah, okay, now. Okay, I refresh your memory. Yes, thank oh, you. Okay, okay, okay. I like it. I like it. Yes, uh, remember that you need to have in mind all those concepts because in that way, it's going to be easy for you to understand what I'm saying. Because what we are going to study next you related with that. We need to know exactly what we are going to talk about. But let me see where I have my presentation because I have a lot of... I got it here. We already talked about this. Okay, we are going to study this chart. It says how to how to use how to use reduce adverb cloth of time. Look at the example in the box, then complete the exercise below. Adverb clothes introduced by, before, after, since, and while can be reduced to modifying adverb phrases. Listen again, adverb close, introduced by before, after, seen and while can be reduced to modifying adverb phrases. Is that clear for you? Hello? Hello? Are you there? Hello, teacher. Is clear the concept? 
¿Está claro ese concepto? Other clauses introduced by before, after, seen and while can be reduced to modify and adverb phrases. Let us see some example. Other clause. After we conduct a swap analysis, what is this? The underline. Lo que está subrayado que es. How we call it? ¿Cómo le llamamos? Adverb close. Adverb close, okay. After we conduct a swap analysis, we will know whether to go or stop with this project. And we need to switch the adverb close into adverb phrase. Right here is missing a, a, a letter. How we are going to do it? Okay, listen. After conducting a swap analysis, now what I want that you see the difference between the first one and uh, the one A and one B. This one and this one. What is the difference? The subject. Okay. What else? ING. Ah, we can also use ING, okay? Okay, after conducting a swap analysis, we will know whether to go or start with this project. What we are going to switch it is just the adverb close. Lo que vamos a hacer el cambio solamente en el adverb close. As you can see, after the comma, it's going to stay in the same way. Se va a quedar de la misma manera. How we are going to do this? To reduce an adverb close to a phrase, do the following. First, eliminate the subject in the adverb close. What is the subject here? We. 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 Okay, we. We, we uh, remember, eliminate the subject. Okay. What's going on here? Okay, the second. If the close has the form of the verb be, Eliminated too, but in this case, we don't have it. Okay. Another feature it is if the clause has any other verb different from B, add ing. That is, the, this is what is happening here. Este es lo que está pasando aquí. If the clause has any other verb different from B, at ING, we drop the subject, quitamos el sujeto, y como no tenemos ningún verbo que esté relacionado con B, y como aquí dice, si la cláusula tiene otro verbo diferente a B, agréguele ING. For that reason, we do this after conducting a swap analysis. Okay, is that clear? Hello? Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, remember we have to drop the, the subject and we need to be careful about the verb. Based on that, let's go on. Okay, the reduction is only possible when the subject of the adverb close and the independent close are the same. Take a look at this. The reduction is only possible when the subject of the other clause and the independent clause are the same. Take a look. Before we make a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threat that could affect the company. What we are telling right here. Okay, let me do something here. Before we make a decision, we still need to go over and, and take a look 
right here. The reduction is only possible when the subject of the other clause and the independent clause are the same. In this case, we have the same subject, we and we, okay? For that reason, what we are going to switch in this way. Before making a decision, what did here is, let me switch the color. But I can switch the color right here. Okay, I'm going to drop this. I'm going to drop this out. Drop out this. And I'm going to add ing to this verb. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threat that could affect the company. Is that clear? Yes? No, teacher. No clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, take a look. Take a look at this. I'm going to erase. Let me see. I need to erase this. Ok, no voy a correr en esto porque necesito que lo aprenda. I need, first of all, I need that you understand this explanation. The reduction is only possible when. ¿Qué dice ahí en español? Reducción solamente es posible. When the subjects. Cuando los. Los de los adverbios. Ok, continue. De la cápsula adverbial y de la cápsula independiente son, son, son iguales. Ok, right here we have two different clauses. This is the adverbial clause and this one is the independent clause. Ok. Teacher, eh, ¿y qué pasa ahí? Cambia de posición el... el... Subject. No. Elimina. No estamos hablando de que cambie de posición. Dice la reducción solamente es posible cuando los sujetos de la cláusula adverbial o dice y la cláusula independiente son los mismos. Yo tengo dos cláusulas aquí. La primera que está subrayada a esa le llamo. ¿Cómo le llamo? Cápsula adverbial. 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 And what about this one? Independent clause. Ah, independent clause. Okay. And now, uh, taking into account this explanation, tomando en cuenta esta explicación, we have the same subject, right? Tenemos el mismo sujeto, sí o no? Yes, teacher. En ambas yes. cápsulas. Tenemos we y tenemos we. Ah, entonces sí podemos hacer la reducción. ¿A qué es lo que vamos a hacer? ¿Se recuerdan que en lo anterior decía que we need to eliminate the subject? Vamos a eliminar el sujeto. For that reason, I cross it out. We don't need it. No lo necesito. Inmediatamente, como no tengo nada del verbo be, tengo otro verbo, a este le voy a agregar ing. Entonces, en vez de decir before we make a decision, we are going to say before making a decision. ¿Is that clear now? Hello? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher, clear. Pero claro, como las dos de la noche o... Como el agua de tamarindo. Yes, my goodness. Okay, okay. Let, us, let us see the next example. Before the new product project gets a green light, we still need to beat the threat 
from outside. Do we have the same subject in both clauses? No, teacher. No, teacher. Ajá, ok. Entonces, aquí no podríamos decir before getting a green light, we still need to beat the thread from outside. Sería errónea la oración, ¿ok? Entonces, ¿cómo tendríamos que decir? Ahí se queda normal, así como está acá. Tal cual. Yes, it is right this way, because we don't have the same subject. Y aquí arriba dice, the reduction is only possible when the subject of the adverb clause and the independent clause are the same. But in this case, we don't have the same, okay? Because we are talking about new product here, and right here we are talking of we still need the subject in the adverb clause and in the independent clause are different. So the reduction should not be done. Aquí está la explicación de lo que me preguntó, mire. Teacher, ¿en qué campo utilizamos estas reducciones? Porque cuando estamos hablando, eh, no hacemos esa reducción en el momento. Ah, ok. Ok, how can I explain you this? It's going to be in this way. Remember that you are coming from a basic level. And right now you are in an intermediate level. Ustedes vienen de un nivel básico y hoy están ya en un nivel intermedio. ¿Cierto? Hello. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. Every, every, uh, every time that you switch into a new level, you are going to learn something new that maybe you learn it to say it in a different way at the beginning. But right now, you need to try to use this kind of reduction in order that you can be more specific about what you are talking about. En este caso, ya con un nivel intermedio, ustedes van a hacer uso de esas reducciones para ser más específicos, más prácticos en lo que queremos decir. En otras palabras, para ir go direct, direct to the targets, ¿ok? Intero, say, before we make a decision, before making a decision, we still need, para sonar más, más, más uh, llamativo, más polite, But, uh, but it's only for polite or, or it's obligation make a, a change? Well, oh, um, how can I tell you this? Okay, I'm going to stop sharing this because I need to see your faces. Okay, well, all depend uh, on how you would like to sound when you are speaking with somebody, you know? Teacher in the platform in the homework, okay. uh, I I write same uh, because it's different uh, subjects, but it's bad. I don't understand. Ah, you did wrong. Yes, in homework. Okay, I need to check up and see it and 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 give you an advice because you need to take into account. If, if you have a different subject, that means that you are not going to switch or to change anything. But if you have the same, you are going to make the switch. Okay? okay. I don't know if you got my message. Okay. okay, I don't know if you have another question. No sé si le quedó claro a quien me preguntó por qué usar la reducción. Recuerden que claro, a, a medida avanzamos en nivel, vamos siendo como más prácticos en el idioma, ¿sí? Y cuando nos comuniquemos con una persona extranjera, para él será más fácil entendernos cuando hacemos ese tipo de cambios. Ya no vamos a sonar tan básicos. ¿Ok? Ok, está bien. Ok, ok, ok. Excelente. Continúe. Time is flying. 
Okay, I read the same and deliberately use the adverb close to adverb phrases when it's possible. Okay, I need that you work in this and you are going to take into account all the instructions that I already explained you. I'm going to give you time in order that you can do it, okay? You can look in your material and try to reduce it. Creo que tienen todos todo el material, ¿cierto? All of you have got the material? Yes? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, try to work on it. And later on, we are going to compare with your classmate in order to be sure if you follow the, the step, the rules. Number five, it is, uh, read the statement below. Do you want, do you want me to read it? Yes, the number one. After the product development team finished brainstorming, it is essential to discard ideas that are not Okay. What do you think about the number one? That don't want to know if you discard ideas. But it's essential. But do you think that it's possible to make the reduction or not? Yes. You don't take a universe idea. You need focus in someone. Okay, the, the first thing that you need to identify is our subject in both clauses. It is the same or it is different? If you answer that question, you are going to tell me the answer that I'm waiting. Is the same that the road Is it the same or not? You need reduction. You need reduction. What is the subject in the, in the first clause? The product development team. Oh. Ah, okay, product. Okay, product. And, and what about the next? Um, it's essential. It is essential. Is he? It is. It is essential. In this case, no, no support. It is not the same, right? That means that we are not going to change anything. We are going to live in that way. Okay, number two. And the second, the manager, yes, he has. Me, teacher. Okay, good. I, 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 I try. Okay, go, go ahead. Before listening the wastes of the company on a site. Okay, Bingo, you got it, you got it, you got it. Before listing the witnesses of the company, okay. 
Why? Because we need to drop out the, the subject. Necesitamos quitar el sujeto. ¿Por qué? Before. Porque se repiten. It is the same right here. He, yeah? Before the manager lists the witnesses of the company on a slide. He had presented new product to help the company increase sales. That means that the manager and he, it is, it is the same, right? Okay. What about number three? Somebody else, please. Number three. Hello. I think that is not possible, Mister. Okay, explain me why. Because uh, there are a uh, verb be while he was. Ah, huh. Okay, what happened when we had the verb be the sentence? Do you remember? It could be be, but B E I N G. Do you remember what we need to do in, uh, when we have uh, the verb be in the sentence? Must be elim elim eliminate. Uh -huh. Okay, let me go back here in order to show you what I explained to you. Okay, if the clause has a form of verb be, Eliminated, eliminated, okay? Ah. Okay, let's go and see it. Uh, entonces, perdón, um, entonces se entiende que cuando existe se elimina el verbo be. Yes. Okay, uh, me había confundido entonces, pero sí ahí está el Okay, if you uh, drop out the, 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 the B form, how, how you are going to read it? Si se la elimina, entonces, ¿cómo quedaría? Andrew? Andrew keep text messaging while in a video conference about the prototype for the new product. Ah, okay. Andrew kept text messaging while in a video conference about the prototype for the new product. He was, was eliminated. ¿Por qué le eliminamos he was? Porque ya sabemos que Andrew is the one. Okay. And number four. What about number four? Number four. Many promising problem ideas are ruled out after they fail to produce positive result in the swap analysis. What can you tell me about number four? I don't know if it is correct. Okay, it says many product, um, let's say many promising product ideas are ruled out after failing to produce positive result in the sub analysis. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
you need to identify the subject. Product ideas. Ah, okay, ideas. Ideas. And what else do we have? Ideas are ruled out of after they fail to produce positive results in the swap analysis. We had ideas here, and what about here? Hello. Ideas are rolled out after they fail. This one we need to drop out because it is the same representing ideas. And what we are going to say, many promising. Product ideas are ruled out after failing to produce positive results in the swap analysis. Is that clear? Hello. To reduce, eliminate they and add ENG. ING, yes. Why? Because ideas and they are the same. The same subject. Okay. Entonces ya está reducida esa, esa oración. No, 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 no. What I'm explaining you is that you are going to drop out the, the word they. Hold on a second, I can write down something here. Let, let me let me do something here. Okay, take a look at this. Ideas and they. I no teacher, I don't understand. Sorry. But I, that is what I'm explaining to you. Nothing. I'm explaining you also in Spanish. Dijimos que cuando encontremos los mismos sujetos en ambas cláusulas, entonces sí es posible hacer la reducción. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And what, I, what, I, what, I, what am I doing here? ¿Qué es lo que estoy haciendo aquí? I'm showing you. En la 4. Yes. Este, como promising product ideas y they son el mismo eh, sujeto, okay. se elimina they y se le añade a fail, eh, L I N G, para dejarlo en failing. Así es, correcto. Eso es todo. Y si no, ¿qué se hace? Lo que le pregunto que la tarea no me sale. Si en este caso los sujetos no fuesen los mismos, entonces se deja tal cual está acá. ¿Pero por qué sale mal en la acá, homework? Acá solamente es de ver si realmente ustedes identifican los sujetos. Ya lo vamos a checar. Ok, number five. A veces, a veces en esas por un punto, una coma, o que ponga una letra mayúscula y es minúscula, se la pone mal. Yeah, ok, Num number five. Number five. The witnesses of a company can be transformed into opportunity 
after a careful contingency plan to alleviate them is designed. Okay. What about that? No reviews. Reduction is not possible. It's not possible because we don't have the same subject. And the last one, before you present a new idea to the manager, you need to present a detailed list of costs and benefits. Identify the, the, the subject. You. You, okay. And now read it in the right way. Before pressing a new idea to the manager, uh -uh, uh -uh. you need to uh -uh. Uh -uh. presenting before before present. Before present presenting presenting a new idea to the manager. To the manager, you need you, you need to present. Me teacher que estoy en el estoy viendo en el teléfono y se me movió. Ah, okay. Cost of the cell phone. Ok, esperemos que, uh, que todos hayan comprendido esa parte. Les dejo de homework a uh, el ejercicio 6. Uh, decide on a new product service your company might launch to the market. Brainstorm useful questions to get information related to each of the state of the SWOT analysis. Run the SWOT analysis based on the result of the SWOT analysis, discover whether the idea for the new product service has potential to move to the next step in the product development cycle. That means that you are going to write down something in a strange witnesses, opportunities, and threats. Okay? And you are going to share it with me tomorrow. That means that you are going to have the opportunity to do it. Okay. Es posible que algunos tengan todavía dudas sobre esto. Trate de explicárselo lo más uh, viable posible. And now I, I would like to, I know that we are so close. We are short to the time. But well, I'm going to take a look at the exercise and Wendy, and I'm going to tell you what is the problem that you have. Uh, of course, I'm not going to give you the answer. Yes, I'm going to give you some ideas how you can solve it. Okay. Bien, lo que voy a hacer con lo que me estaba diciendo Wendy, voy a revisar la plataforma, voy a ver el ejercicio y le voy a dar algunas ideas, no la respuesta. ¿Sí? Para que eh, analice y de esa forma busque resolverla de la mejor manera. Recordemos eso. Si los sujetos de ambas cláusulas son el mismo, se puede hacer reducción. Si no son los mismos, no se puede hacer la reducción. Si tenemos una forma del B, esa se quita, se elimina. ¿De acuerdo? De acuerdo, teacher. Oh, okay. ok, ok. ¿Any questions so far from here? ¿No? La lista me va a decir Franz. No cuesta. Ahorita me va a decir la lista, la lista. Ok, Ana Beatriz. Present. Ok, thank you. Uh, Ana Lilian Reyes. Present. Carlos Alberto Bautista. Present. Uh, Carlos Antonio. Present. Eh, Claudia Raquel. Present. Uh, Francis Elizabeth. Present teacher. Ah, no se fue, ahí está. José Galileo. 
No, está porque no lo veo. José Jonathan. Present. Ok. Uh, José Rodrigo. Present, sí, señor. Eh, Juan Carlos. Present, teacher. Laura Carolina. Present, teacher. Uh, Lorena Beatriz. No está. Eh, María Concepción. Present. Eh, María Elena. Present, teacher. Mayra. Present. Miguel Ángel. Zaira. Present, teacher. Santos Misael. Present, teacher. Eh, Wendy Maribel. Present, teacher. Jenny. Jenny. Juleima Santos. No la veo. Yesenia. 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 Present No voy a poner el micrófono. Diego. Present teacher. And Brian. Okay. Okay. ok, le recuerdo que su asistencia es contabilizada en minutos. Ahorita estoy observando acá eh, los minutos que tienen algunos. Así es que eh, ese control eh, no es a mí que me corresponde sacarlo, sino que Alguien más lo hace. Yo solo escribo quién está presente y quién no está presente. La plataforma nos dice cuánto tiempo han estado conectados. Así es que, por si acaso alguien dice, solo entro, me salgo y me retiro y ya marqué. Nah, -ah. right here is totally different. Ok. Muy diferente. And the person that is going to be with me today is going to be, let me see. ¿A quién le corresponde el día de hoy? Carlos Alberto Bautista Bonilla. ¿Estás ahí, Carlos Bautista? Bautista. Hello, teacher. ¿Are you going to have a uh, time to, uh, to stay at the end of the class to talk about 10 minutes? Ok. 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 Thank you. I hope to see you there. Bye bye. I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night. Tomorrow. And, good night. Uh, bye bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Okay. Y me disculpo porque no les envié la, la, la presentación. Eh, ahorita que termine de hablar con Bautistas, les voy a enviar las dos. Para, okay. que, la, para que las puedan leer, ok? Good night. Good night. Ok, bye bye. Okay. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye. Okay, Carlos Alberto. I don't know. I don't know if you have any questions apart from here about the topic that we already have started, or maybe you can tell me something that you think or feel about uh, the module. Uh, yes, with the grammatical points, uh, for example, today. Uh, Maybe I need more exercises uh, to practice when they change uh, to A and G. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, I, I got it. I got it. Okay, the, the first thing that you need to look for, uh, you need to identify both clauses, the adverbial and the independent clause. Eso es lo primero que tienen que hacer. The second step that you need to do is just to identify the subject in both clauses. El segundo paso es identificar los sujetos en ambas cláusulas para saber si son los mismos. Si son los mismos, si se puede hacer la reducción. Uh -huh. ¿Ya? Yes. Si tenemos una forma del B, por ejemplo, que diga he was, he is, she is, esa hay que quitarla. Y luego hacemos eh, 
suprimimos eso, si no aparece ninguno de esos verbos, entonces, si no aparece una forma del vi y aparece otro, agregamos a Genji. Ok. Por ahí le voy a... Ok. Es muy importante aprender estos puntos porque yo escribo en inglés en mi trabajo. Ah, ok. O sea, yo okay. lo practico. Sí. Y a veces eh, uno se pregunta por qué lo escriben así, por qué cambian oraciones. Que sí. uno quizás al leerlas en español, como en español se escribe una a una todas las palabras. Así es. Pero en inglés las contracciones son lo más, lo más familiar y lo más usual. Y eso sí, sí me cuesta a mí todas las contracciones, todo la, así como hoy va, que si van doble sujeto, eh, haga la contracción, ¿verdad? Y coloque ella en allí todos esos aspectos gramaticales. Sí. ¿verdad? Sí, recuerde que uh, acá estamos como ahorita no entrando de lleno a, a una cuestión meramente gramatical, sino que lo estamos viendo con una forma inductiva. Uh -huh. ¿Ya? Entonces usted ya va teniendo una idea general de cómo se usa. Cuando ya llegamos al siguiente nivel, entonces ahí sí remachamos lo que ya hemos estado viendo previamente. A mí lo que es la lectura sí me gusta bastante. Lo comprendo y lo entiendo bastante. Ok. Eh, a veces me faltan palabras palabras de enlace para completar oraciones. Ajá. Y mi debilidad sí es el, el listening. Listening. Sí, ahí sí, a veces me cuesta incluso a los compañeros entenderles alguna frase cuando ellos están hablando y cuestiones así por pues, el estilo. Pero estoy tratando de expandir el vocabulario para ir comprendiendo todas las palabras que, que se puedan mencionar. Ok. If you have the, the opportunity to watch movies in English, do it in that way. That is going to help you a lot. And also you can listen uh, English music. Uh, yes, because sometimes I don't understand that the say. Yeah, of course, maybe you are not going to understand 100% everything. But suddenly your ear is going to be educated in that way. And you are going to get familiar with the context. Yes, so, some words I, I understand the context of, of, of the song, of, of the movies, but sometimes I don't uh, uh, make a concordance. Uh, a connection. Or uh, connection. Uh, the word for understand the phrase complete. Okay. I'm going to share some some uh, some material about this topic in order that you can reinforce your knowledge, okay? Por ahí le voy a enviar un material extra, eh, algunos ejercicios para que los practique y, y clarificamos. Yes, the the last time in the in the last course of basic, uh, the teacher sent me uh, some audio. Okay. Uh, because these audios are in in British English. Okay, British English. And this this English is very different than that, that uh, USA. English. The American, yes. Yes, it really it's really different. Yes, uh, same. Is, I need understand first the American English and later uh, the the British. English. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't know if you have another question or does it for today? No, no. I, I don't have a question. Okay. okay. Thank you very much to spend uh, this last 10 minutes with me talking about what do you think about the module. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Bye -bye. Okay. Bye bye.